Since Auth0 is a developer first company, developer experience has been a priority for us since day one. We're always looking for ways to simplify the development process and ease friction along the way. With the CLI, you're able to create applications, test logins, tail logs, and many other cool things. And that sounds really good, but I think the best thing for us to do now is to actually take a look. All right, so I'm starting on the page for the GitHub repository. It's got the documentation in here to go through all the things that we're doing. So we have a link to that in the description below. So make sure to check it out. I do want to highlight the first section, which is just getting started and installation. So I'm personally on a Mac, so I used brew install to install the CLI. There's also manual downloads and installations for uh, Mac as well as Windows and Linux. So whatever operating system you're on, you should be covered. Now I have opened my Auth0 dashboard. I'm inside of my James Q Quick demos to tenant. Tenant is basically a grouping of applications. And notice that I only have one application installed here or created here. So we want to create another one with the Auth0 CLI. So I've got uh, the CLI already installed. You can see that here. And we're going to start with doing an Auth0 login. So this will take us over when we press enter take us over to the browser. It will allow us to log in or confirm that we want to be able to be logged in with the CLI and we'll give it access specifically to that tenant demos to for me. So we accept that that will finish this login process. And now if I come back to my terminal, you can see that that's that login happens successfully. And it's asking me if I want to change my default tenant to uh, that new tenant. Sure, we can do that. So now that we have logged in, we can now run Auth0 apps create. Now this is the beauty of this. Instead of having to go into the dashboard to create the application, we can do it right here and we can call this my CLI test. A description, this is the best app there is. I want this to be a Next.js application in this example. So I'm gonna choose a regular web application. And then for our callback URLs, in this case, our callback for Next.js is going to be HTTP local host 3000. And then the callback URL is going to be slash API slash auth slash callback. Now, if you're interested in why that is the way this is set up for Next.js specifically, you can check out the Next.js quick start as well as we'll have more videos on that on this channel coming soon. So make sure to subscribe so you can catch them when they come out. So that will be our callback URL. And then we also need a few other URLs, but we don't need to change those. These will just be 3000. So I'll just press enter to go through uh, and have all that stuff taken care of. So this application now should be created. If we come back to our browser page and refresh, we should see a new application here on a refresh. That is our CLI test. Cool. And that thing has been created successfully for us, including the callback URLs and the allowed logout URLs. That stuff worked really well, which is really nice. Now, after this happens, uh, Auth0 CLI gives you a couple of helpful hints in here on other things that you can do. So you can test the login box. We'll see that here in a second. And you can also download the quick start application to have something up and running in just a few seconds. So let's start with, there's this Auth0 test login. I'm not gonna copy that whole thing because I wanna show you if you type this in without passing in the client ID, which is this part, what this will do is it will read all of your applications and let you choose from one. So there's no like copying, pasting this really long ID. I can toggle up and down and choose my CLI test. What this is going to do when I say yes is send me over to the browser again. Now I get to go through this login experience. Let's try this. All right, so that worked well. It's asking for access to profile information the application is, so we'll accept that. After we finished, it says login is successful. And now you see a couple of different things happened. One, you saw in the browser that it finished successfully. Uh, you get uh, a note in here to let you know that it happened successfully. We also get an ID token, and this is a JWT or a JSON web token. And if you're curious what these look like or what that information represents, you can go to JWTIO, link below in the description as well to decode this token and see what information is there. You can see email and picture and the sub, which is the unique identifier for the user. All really cool stuff, it works really well. So now we know that this login process is working. But what if we don't wanna just take all zeros word for it? What if we wanna test it out ourselves in a real application? Well, this is where we can download our quick start. So this is really cool. We can run the Auth0 quick starts download Again, since I didn't pass a client ID, it's gonna let us choose between a different application. So we can choose the CLI test app. 
And then now we get greeted with, here's all of the different languages, frameworks that you might be interested in downloading for. Mention that this is gonna be Next.js. So we come down to Next.js, it's gonna do this download, and then we'll have that thing ready, which is really amazing. So I'm gonna CD into that directory. So CD into my CLI test, sample 01. We'll do an NPM install to make sure all those packages get installed. The other thing we'll do when this finishes is we'll actually open up the source code in VS Code and let you take a look at it before we run it just to show you that this stuff works. All right, so that finished installing all of our packages and we've got the code open here in VS Code. Now we can run an NPM run dev to start this application. And while that's loading, I just wanna show that the environment variables in here are already populated from the quick start. So it, since it downloaded the quick start associated with a specific app, we get the credentials for that application already configured for us. And I'll show you how this works here in a second. So that stuff is ready to go. But one thing I wanna do is when we test this login in this quick start, I wanna be able to show the logs in the terminal here. So with the auth zero CLI, you can do an auth zero logs tail and now you'll be able to see all of these logs. So let's scroll over to our application. Let's open it up on localhost 3000. We should be greeted with a beautiful application here already configured for Auth0 for our application. We can click on login. We can go through this login process. See that that just happened there. If I log out, just to show you that this works, we'll log out as well. So I wanted to show you inside of the terminal that we saw both the login process and the logout process in the terminal. Now, one other thing I wanna show is we can run that same command, but add on the debug flag, which will basically provide us a little bit more information, like, or as an example, if we log in with a bad password or if we fail to log in. So let's try that. Let's try the same email address, but type in uh, just kind of a made up password. Obviously that thing won't let us log in. And if we scroll back to our CLI, now we get some more details in these logs to show us what went wrong, which was a wrong email or password. So in just a few minutes, we were able to use the Aussie CLI to create an application, to download quick start information and to tail logs. But there's actually several other things you could do as well. So inside of the terminal, you can type Auth0 help. We'll give you a list of the different resources that you can work with, including working with your tenants, your apps, your rules, your APIs, and so on and so on. So make sure to give all of these features a look as you try it out. All right, so that is the Auth0 CLI, which can really help simplify your process for just building applications and getting stuff done. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you have any feedback on the CLI, let us know in the comments below. If you have any suggestions or maybe a PR that you'd like to add to the repository, feel free to contribute in that way as well. Thank you as always for checking out the video and we'll catch you next time.